Hey everyone, thank you for joining me. Thank you for clicking this video. I am your host, Brian. You have joined the Brian T. Murray uh, YouTube uh, channel. Um, it's, we're ready for another edition of uh, Brian's Bible Study. We're in Luke chapter 9. We're in Luke chapter 9. We have a long one. We have a long one. 62 verses. So let's, uh, let's get ready for that one. A lot of a, a variety of things, uh, a lot of variety of things that we have covered, and, and that's and that's one of the things I enjoy about about the synoptic gospel because because it's a synopsis, so it, so it gives us opportunity to look at this, the same thing in different views. So I'm um, I'm really I you know that that's really cool. That's really cool. But um, you know how we do? We start out with uh, open prayers. So let's do that. And we're going to enjoy this word together. <clears throat> Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We're, we're, we're just so grateful, Lord, for you bringing us together seven days uh, 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 later, Father. We, we're, we're just so grateful, Lord. We thank you for all you have done for us, all you are doing for us, Lord. We we accept this, this privilege, Father. Excuse me. We we accept uh, this privilege, Father, to learn of you, to sit at at, at your feet, Lord, uh, with, with, with your Holy Spirit leading us and guiding us, Father, and, and, and as we go upon line upon line, pre precept upon precept, here a little, there a little, Lord, that we may have a better understanding, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and we're just so grateful for all that you are doing for us, Lord, and all that you are you are doing uh, to us, Lord. We thank you, Lord, and may we have a better understanding of ourselves. And, and that because we we have a better understanding of ourselves that we will have a better understanding of you Lord that as, as this thing these, we ask these things of you Lord and we, we, we ask of your, your grace mercy and favor Lord in Jesus name we pray amen all right all right let's start in verse one this is a long one but let's start at verse one. Then he called his twelve disciples together and gave them power and authority over all devils and to cure disease. He sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Amen. Amen. He called his twelve di 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 disciples together, including Judas. Including Judas. Uh, that that's important to 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 point out is because we know how how we treat people. That uh, that do us wrong, or will do us wrong, or have done done us wrong. No, Judas had the same opportunity as everybody else. He had the same opportunities as everybody else. Amen. And he sent them to preach the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. Uh, I find verse two very interesting. Is because number one, Jesus only preached one thing. Uh, we really believe that we're doing what it is that that, that, that Jesus did. We're not. Because Jesus only preached one thing. And that thing that he preached was the kingdom of God. So he, he sent them to preach what he preached. Notice they weren't sent to be to preach Jesus. That's what we do. We preach Jesus. That's not effective. <laughs> I know I, I I know I just offended someone. No. You want Jesus' results? Preach what he preaches. Jesus didn't even talk about himself. He talked about the kingdom. So in verse 2, as it verifies, he sent them to preach the kingdom of God because I want you to do what I did. And then lastly it says, and to heal the sick. That, that last part is, is very important is because after you preach the kingdom of God, you got to show proof. You got to show, show proof. This is important. It's because we have had healing ministries for, for, for decades. So the more grandiose, if you will, grandiose healing ministries, all those ministries that that that, that will have people getting out of wheelchairs and, and all, that's fine. I don't, I, that, that doesn't bother me. What bothers me is, what if you're known for doing that, and then it doesn't happen? See, all power belongs to uh, God. All power belongs to God. 
So what tends to happen is when you do these things that you have been known for doing and then they don't work anymore, now, now you got to fabricate things. That's what I have a problem with. I, I've never been the one to say something is real or fake. That's 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 not even that's that's that that's not even even in my, my, my personality to, to try to figure it out. That that's not even me. I'm not even sure I even care. But when you're fabricating things, that's that's a problem. It's because you're not hurting in, in anybody but yourself. <laughs> you you are a stumbling block. Let me let, let me be, be, be clear. You you are a stumbling block to a to a new believer, but yeah, that's that's not that's not the way to, to go about it. Amen. In verse three, he said unto them, taking nothing for your journey, neither staves nor script, neither bread, neither money, neither have two coats apiece. And whatsoever house ye enter into, there abide and thence depart. And whosoever will not receive you, when you go out of that city, shake the dust, shake the very dust from your feet for a testimony against them. And they departed and went through the towns, preaching the gospel and healing everywhere. Results everywhere. Proof everywhere. And verse 7, now, now Herod, the, the tetrarch, heard of all that was done by him and he was perplexed because that it was said of some that John was risen from the dead and and some that that Elias had, had, had appeared and of others that one of the old prophets was risen again and Haram said John have I beheaded but who is this of whom I hear such things and he desired to see him and the and the apostles went when when they were returned told them all that they had done and he took them and he went aside privately into a desert place belonging to to the city called Bethsaida and the people who and the people with when they knew it followed him and, and he received them and spake unto them so in verse 10 this is what I want people to catch after you have moved in the power of God in a mighty way, you got to go to the side and rest. You got to go privately and rest. You got to. Why? Because number one, to, to, to remind you, see, see, the power belongs to God. All power belongs to God. So when you do mighty works in his name, it's natural. It is nature for you to begin to get seduced by that power. Yeah. Yeah. Because after a while and long enough, you're going to think it's you. It's not. <laughs> That's why Jesus pulled them to the side in a desert place, an isolated place for them to rest. And then another place in the synop of the, the gospel, they were there to eat. Amen. In verse 11, and he received them and spake unto them of the kingdom of God. He healed them that had need of healing. So when people knew where they were, they followed him and received, and he received them. Like, Jesus wasn't even planning on doing it, but he received them and he began to teach. Why? Because this is what uh, the kingdom of God will do for you. It's Tell me about this place where it has power over circumstances. Because when, when you're on the earth, circumstances have power over you. <laughs> but in this place, it's the opposite. Tell me more. See, it's in you to want to be powerful. I know that don't strike pe people of faith properly. No, no, wait, 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 wait. We we are we are supposed to be humble. We, we, we are. It's in you to be powerful. God made you that, that way. We are the off the, the Bible says we are the offspring of God. How he is, we are not too far from it. Naturally. Naturally. It's natural to have 
forced to feel uh, to have certain inclinations to be in charge to to be powerful to have it it's in us to do that it's in us to do that stop 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 being disempowered all the time stop being disenfranchised all the time stop being weak all the time absolutely not god made you to be powerful he made you to be powerful he made you to be the head and not the tail he made you that way he, this is how we know we are related to god because his inclinations are in within us no no we will have inclinations with no explanations why is it wrong to feel this way see church wants you to be in a way where people can control you the kingdom wants you to be a citizen where you are the same all the time i'm powerful all the time all powers come all power come from god all grace and favor comes from God and is manifest through through different circumstances and through different people. And he healed them all that had healing. In verse in verse 12, and when he and when the day began to wear away, then came the twelve, and he said un, unto him, Send the multitude away. That they may go into the towns and the country run, run about and lodge and get victuals, for we are here in a desert place. And he said unto them, Give ye them to eat. And they said, We have no more but five loaves and two fish, except we should go and buy meat for all this people. Number one, the first thing I want to point out Jesus gives the answer without even giving the explanation. That's the kind of God we serve. He gives the answer without giving the explanation. Why? Because he wants you to think. He wants you to think. That's what he wants you to do. And the thing that I find fascinating is, look at the response. We have no more but five loaves and two fish except we should go and buy meat for all this people. So notice, traditionally, we try to make Jesus and his disciples to be broke and poor. Look at what they said, except we go and buy meat for all these people. They had the money to feed 15,000 people. You better know it. You better know it. They had the money to feed 15,000 people. You better know it. Mm. For, uh, for, for there were about 5,000 men. The 5,000 men re re represents approximately 5,000 heads of family. So let's go with one husband, one wife, one, one child. We have a minimum of 15,000 people. And they had enough money to feed all of them. The issue wasn't the money. It was the uh, the accommodations going and getting the food and bringing it back. Yeah. I'm trying to get you to a place to understand there is no money shortage. There is no money shortage. And he said to his disciples, make them sit down by fifties in a company. So wait. <laughs> so wait. You, it, it, isn't it funny how, how training come, come, comes about to you? Isn't it funny how training come, comes about you? 15,000 people. And Jesus says, we're going to do this by order because miracles is going to happen by order. See, we, we think miracles happen by way of chaos miracles happen by order because you got to have the faith to say hey I need 50 of y'all to be seated faith is effort is 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 acting or conducting your, yourself as if the miracle has already happened <laughs> amen I I, 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 I I think I think I think Tony Evans you used to say that faith is acting like and conducting yourself as if the miracle has already taken place. Amen. 
can't laugh. Companies of 50. So Jesus has the power. He has all power, but he still instructed his disciples. I want the 12 of you to get out there and cause these people to sit in groups of 50. And they did so. They made them all sit down. And they took the five loaves and two fish. And, and, and then he took the five loaves and two fish. And looking up to heaven, he blessed them and break and gave to the disciples to set before the multitude. Looking up to heaven, and he blessed them. He blessed them. He break and gave to the disciples. There was no notice. There's no explanation. Oh, Lord, we're in crisis mode today. Oh, Lord. Oh, Jesus, 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 Jesus. Wait a minute. I'm Jesus. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Please help me. Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. You you, you, you have got to help me. Oh, the there was none of that. No. Because in another chapter, it says that all Jesus said was thank you. If you're saying thank you, that, that, that means a conversation has already taken uh, place at some some other time. Amen. Amen. Yeah. This, y'all, I really enjoy the Word of God. I truly enjoy the Word of God. I really do. I really do. <laughs> I really do. Mm. In verse 17, and they did eat and were all filled, all filled. And they were taking up the fragments that remained to them twelve baskets. And it came to pass as he, he was alone praying, as his disciples were with him. And he asked them, saying, Whom say the people that I am? And they answered and said, John the Baptist. But some say Elias, and others say one of one of the one of the old prophets is, is risen again. And he, and he said unto them, But whom say ye that I am? See, Jesus knew how to provoke conversation because he was you you can provoke conversation by provoking revelation. Because the end goal is the revelation. We have to get to some truth here. Where it leads to a confession. And Peter said the Christ of God. He straightly charged them and commanded them to tell no one that thing. Don't tell anyone. Don't tell anyone. You told the truth by way of the the, the, the Holy Spirit, but don't tell anyone. And verse 22, saying the Son of Man must suffer many things and be rejected of the elders and the chief priests. So, so much like in our Kingdom Prosperity Session, it was, see, failure as I say early, it's subjective. It's subjective. You don't. Yeah. No, no. You you have to ask God what truly is failure. Is because some plans from God is set up for it not to work. It doesn't mean it's a failure. It actually means the plan went as expected. Amen. And the chief priests in verse twenty-two, and the scribes and be slain and be raised the third day and when he said to them all if any man will come after me let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me for whosoever will save his life shall lose it but whosoever shall lose his life for my sake the same shall save it amen so we're dealing with principles of the kingdom of god up is down down is up right is left and left, left is right and whosoever shall be ashamed of me and of my words of him shall the Son of Man be ashamed when he shall come in, in, in his own glory and in, and in his fathers and of the holy angels. But I tell you of a truth, there shall be some standing here which shall not taste, uh, taste of, of death till they see the kingdom of God. And it came to pass about eight days after the after these sayings he took Peter and John and James and went up into a mountain to pray and and as he prayed the fashion of his countenance altered his raiment was white and glistening and behold there talked with him two men 
which were Moses and Elias, Elijah, who appeared in glory and spake of his decrease, which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. See, we have the dispensation of the kingdom of God, which is entering into the world. So if, if, if the dispensation of the kingdom of God is entering into the world, we have to stop this, this ceremonial law, which, which, that is, which is represented through Moses, and we have to stop this, the, the, this time of uh, the era of the prophets. So he's closing those two eras to enter to the kingdom of God, the era of the kingdom of God, because that was all he preached. Amen. Amen. There is no more re re representing one who, who did die, Moses, and one who didn't. No, that, 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 that doesn't even make sense. No, <laughs> no. All three men, Jesus, Moses, e e Elias, rep represented a dispensation of teaching. Moses being the law, which means ceremonial law, which does not include the Ten Commandments. The Ten Commandments are still active and effective today. If, if, if you being being a new converted leader, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, a, a, a new a new converted believer co comes in, you the, the first thing you need is laws to understand what what is it I'm supposed to do and not do. The same way when you get hired at a job, what am I supposed to do? Is, is there an employee manual or, or, or like a web page for me to follow or whatever? What to do and what what not to do? Amen. Amen. Who appeared in glory in verse 31 and spake of his uh, 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 of his uh, de decease, which he which he should accomplish at Jerusalem. But Peter and they that were with him were heavy with sleep. And when they were awake, they saw his glory and the two men that stood with him. And it came to pass as they departed from him, Peter said unto Jesus, Master, is it good for us to be here? Let us make three tabernacles, one for thee, one for Moses, and, and one for or, e, e, Elias, not knowing what he said. While he thus spake, there came a cloud and overshadowed them, and they feared as they entered into the cloud. <laughs> Jesus still, God is still speaking through, through clouds. And they came a voice out of the cloud saying, This is my beloved son, hear him. And when the voice was passed, Jesus was found alone, and they kept it close, and told no man in those days any of those things which they had seen. Some revelation is for after the, the person of topic is deceased. Some revelation. You know, juicy stuff really don't don't happen until after the uh, the uh, funeral and uh, burial. <laughs> a lot of DMX stories are coming up now. <laughs> a lot of Kobe Bryant stories. I'm mean, good good things. A lot of Kobe Bryant stories are coming up. Some revelations don't happen until afterwards. Amen. Amen. And it came to pass, in verse 37, and it came to pass that on the next day, when, when they were come down from the hill, much people met him. And behold, the man of the company uh, cried out, saying, Master, I beseech you, look, look upon my son, for he is my only child. And lo, a spirit had uh, take of him. And he suddenly cried out and tear of him, that he foamed again and bruising him hardly departing from him and when I besought thy disciples to cast him out and they could not and Jesus answered and said oh faithless and perverse generation rebuking his uh, the, the uh, disciples how long shall I be with you and, and suffer you allow you bring thy son hither and as he was yet a coming the devil threw him down and tear him and Jesus rebuked the unclean spirit and healed the child and delivered him again to his father. Delivered him again to his father as as before. And they were all amazed at, at the mighty power of God. 
But while they wondered, every one of them at all things which Jesus did and said unto his disciples, let these sayings sink down into your ears, for the Son of Man shall be delivered into the hands of men. But, but they understood not the saying, and it was hid from them that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. And then there arose a reasoning among them, which which of them should should be the greatest, one extreme to another, because in another chapter, the uh, the disciples asked, "How come we couldn't cast him out?" Luke doesn't cover that. We go straight into the greatest a, a, a among you. And they understood not the saying, and, and, and it was hid from them that, that they perceived it not, and they feared to ask him of that saying. And then there rose a reasoning among them, which of them should, should be the greatest. And Jesus, perceiving their thought of their heart, took a child and set him by him, and said unto them, Whosoever shall receive this child in my name, receive of me. And whosoever receive of me, receive of him that sent me. The child, Jesus, God. And he that is least among you all, the same shall be great. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out. So in verse 48, and he that is least among you, the same shall be great. So it's not you, it's who's inside of you. The same shall be great. See, you're 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 trying to find out your your ranking or, or, or your qualification to life. It's not you. It's who's inside of you, operating within you. Amen. Uh, in verse forty-nine, we're we're we're, we're closing. And John answered and said, Master, we saw one casting out devils in, in thy name. Now, this is interesting. <laughs> this is interesting. For we forbade him because he followed, followed not with us. And Jesus said unto him, Forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. Amen. You see how, how, how secure Jesus is in, in all this? Forbid him not. He's not directly opposed to us. He is with, with us. And, and, and like this is where you, you, these are the type of things you deal with when you become a, a new believer or newly co converted. Because you're, you're thinking of a worldwide network. Like we all should be doing the same thing that looks the same way. Not so fast. Not so fast. Because that's, even in that thinking, I, I know where you're coming from. You're still coming from a humanistic standpoint. Meaning you're the center of the situation. What you're doing should, should look like this. It's not about you. It's about what did Jesus say? Uh, he that receives the, the, this 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 child in my name receives me and he that receives me receives him who sent me so it's still all about God not about you because as I shared last week I believe Dr. Mike Murdoch's uh, teaching he said that your life is one page one page in a chapter of a book Life in general is an entire library. Whatever you know, whatever you have experienced is only one page. There's only one paragraph. So it's a whole world out there that doesn't look like you or what you're familiar with. So just be open-minded. Just be open-minded. Amen. And Jesus said... Uh, unto him, forbid him not, for he that is not against us is for us. And it came to pass, when the time was come that he should be received up, he steadfastly set his face to go to Jerusalem, and sent messengers before his face, and they went and entered into a village of the 
of, of the Samaritans to make ready for him. And they did not receive him because his face was as though he would go to Jerusalem. And when his disciples, uh, James and John, saw this, they said, Lord, will, will thou that, that we command fire to come down from heaven and consume them even as, as, as Isaiah did? But well, he turned and rebuked them. He said, ye know not what matter spirit ye are. Where is this destruction? What is wrong with you? And this is what you want to ask some people in church. What is wrong with you? See, in particular with uh, church people is, uh, who are they really when, 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 when you're not currently in, in worship? Who are you really when you're not in worship? That's where I want to go. Yeah, that, that's where I really find out who you are. Because people, in, in, in my experience, in my life, lifetime, people, Christians are more perplexed than they get give off. It's because they, they, they use a lot of energy in looking holy instead of being holy. Looking holy instead of being holy. But yet they can point out everybody else's flaws. And, and I, I'm just standing in the midst like, yo, why don't everybody just, number one, just chill out? Why don't everybody start there? Just just chill out. Oh, her, her skirt too short, her skirt too tight, her her her, her arms are out, they, they, they're revealing, hey, 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 stop, 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 stop. And stop this thing. And, and, and one, I want to apologize for my, my yourself. I remember where, where, where I was in, in um, my walk 20 years ago, 30 years ago, 40 years ago. I, I remember it, it, it wasn't pleasant. Uh, a lot of good stuff in there, but very prickly, very prickly. Why? Because I was a product of my environment. I was a product of my environment. I loved the Lord and I wanted everybody to love the Lord too. Now that I'm older, I see the, the situation and it's like, hey, why don't everybody just chill out? <laughs> see, some, 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 sometimes you you have you have you have to choose you have to choose an old man. Why? Because it takes an old man to actually become a good man. Because it takes him a long time to figure things out. It takes them a long time to figure things out. Amen. As Jesus responds in closing, for the Son of Man has not come to destroy men's lives, but to save them. And they went into another village, problem solved. They went into another, but the Samaritans will, will, will not receive them, will just go to another village. And it came to pass that as they went in went in the way a certain man said unto them lord i will follow thee whithersoever thou goest and jesus said unto him foxes have holes birds under the air have nests but the son of man has not where to lay his head now this verse is very misunderstood uh is it is taken as a very heavily spiritual um uh, uh, verse is more of a practical verse. Watch what, what what is happening. A certain man said, "Lord, I will follow thee wherever thou go." And and, and Jesus is saying, "Hey, foxes have holes, birds have nests, but but the Son of Man not where to lay his head. I don't know where I'm going to be from moment to moment, because Jesus will have something on his mind, and someone who needs to be healed or someone who needs to be taught." He'll stop and just do that. That's how, how it is. From one moment to the other, the disciples did not know where they were going to be. They 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 did. They, I, I mean I mean this is a sin sick world. So 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 Jesus getting here. It's like they, they, they need they need to be taught. They need to be healed. They need to be taught. They need to be healed. The uh, disciples were very accustomed to a change in, in, in itinerary. At a moment's notice, he was very. They were very accustomed to that. And when he said unto another, "Follow me," but I, but he said, "Lord, suffer me first to go and bury my father." And Jesus said unto him, "Let let the dead bury the dead, but go thou and preach the kingdom of God." So 
a message different different person different message we all don't have the exact specific same marching orders follow uh, follow me but he said Lord suffer me to go and bury my, my father and Jesus said let the dead bury the, the uh, dead meaning what I am calling of you to do involves life quickening life to go to preach the kingdom of God as verse 60 says but but are the ones who are not into that let them deal with burying your dead father <laughs> or, or or your ailing father who is who is transitioning in that direction let them deal, deal with it I have a call, higher calling for you right now and another also said, Lord, I will follow thee, but let me first go bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. And Jesus said unto him, no man, having put his hand to, to the plow and looking back, is fit for the kingdom of God. You have got to be obsessed with the process of, of, of knowing what the kingdom of God is. You have to. You have to. Because the man's re 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 response said, "I will follow. I'll, I will follow me, but give me two weeks, whatever. But give me two weeks to go and bid them farewell, which are at home at my house. It doesn't always work that way. Nor should, should you expect it to work that way. It doesn't. It doesn't. Amen. Amen." This was, was good, so let's bring this to a close. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for giving us life lessons, Father. We thank you for, for, for your teachings and your directions. In your, in your direction. We thank you, Lord, for all you have to offer us, Lord. You are good to us all the time, Father. When it feels good, even when it hurts, Father, we are just so thankful, Lord. I'm at, 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 at you to strengthen my brother, to strengthen my, my sister. As the world is moving forward uh, to getting vaccinated, Father, and, and this and this hope of having some semblance of a normal world again, Father, and we have much work to 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 be done, much more awareness uh, uh, to make up people, Father. But Lord, it's all in Your hands, and we thank You, Lord. Order our steps, Lord, as You see fit. In Jesus' name, we pray. Amen. All right, y'all have, have a blessed week. All right, God bless. Bye.